Hello and welcome. This is Sharon Benjamin. How are you? Would you like to have a new you for a new year? Well, you can do that, but the first order of business is to make sure you check with your medical professionals before you start any exercise program. Now, I'm on my bike, but there are a number of things you can do. You can run outside, you can walk, you know, the malls are open early. You can get out there and walk around the mall. But listen, I'm going to show you something else besides the bike. I'm going to show you some light weights that you can do as well. So hold on. Now, you might not want heavy weights. I have these one pound wrist weights that you can use. And you can use them to do arm lifts. You can do your arms. You can do your waist twists. You can do your squats. You can do behind the behind your head, you know, to work on this part of your arms. You can do that. Or you might want to use some heavier weights. And what I have here are eight pounders. So you can take these and do your arms, do your waist. It's pretty easy. So you can do that. But again, make sure you have talked to your medical professionals to make sure it's okay with what you're doing. You can do lifts with it with them. You can do your squats. Come on, you can do this, you can do this. You can, again, you can do your twists. What I do sometimes, I have my wrist turned upward, and then I'll do it turn downward. You can also do your, uh, you can do what I call the windmill. Now, exercise and diet are both important. Now, I don't mean those fly-by-night diets. I'm talking about eating properly. So let me show you something. So something that I do is I use ginger water for almost all of my cooking. So I wash the ginger, the ginger root, I cook it, and I bottle it. So I keep it in the refrigerator, and I have it every day. And it's actually medicinal. I'm not sure exactly how, but it helps. I used to have a horrible allergy bout every spring and fall. Since I do ginger every day, I hardly get sick at all. Now, something else that I do, I make sure I cook my food. Rarely eat in a restaurant. So one of the things that I cook is kale soup. Delicious. I use no meat. I'm not a vegetarian, but I eat hardly any meat. So the base is onion, garlic, and olive oil. And I use kale, spinach, broccoli, carrots, turnips, and um, I use yellow squash. Now, if you would like to add something, you can add pasta, you can add quinoa, you can add rice, you can even add, add meat if you would like. So I cook a large batch and I freeze it. So right now I have several bags in the freezer. Something else that you can eat you know, if you like pasta, but you don't like the calories, you can cook spaghetti squash. And you can use it and eat it just as if you were eating pasta. So do it with your pasta sauce, do it with your meat sauce, whatever you would like to do. That's the spaghetti squash. Something else I do is I have a lot of beans and peas, the lentils. So again, I cook a batch and I keep them in the freezer. So when I need them, I can just take them out, add them to whatever I would like. Here I have brown rice that I've cooked. I cooked a large batch, bagged it, froze it, and I add it to my other food. Something else, um, if you want a little more starch, something else, I have, I cooked a batch of uh, sweet peas and white potatoes and froze them as well. So you can eat healthy. Now, just in case you do not want to drink the really sweetened orange juice, you can make your own fresh juice. So what I do is I take delicious red seedless grapes and I use Fuji apples and I just cut them up and I use my juicer and make fresh juice. And just to cut it a little bit, I put in a little uh, lemon juice. Delicious. So listen, 
diet and exercise, you need to combine them both. But again, check with your medical professionals before starting any program. And you can also talk to a nutritionist because some people have certain diet restrictions. So make sure you can check with the proper people before you start any program. Again, this is Sharon Benjamin. You want to have a new you for a new year. Make sure you are eating properly and making sure you are exercising with however your medical professionals and nutritionists direct you. All right, thank you so much. Talk to you later.